Hello YouTube, this is Sam and I'm back to do more Dishonored. Um, today we'll be covering the High Overseer Campbell mission where you have to break into his house and steal his journal and take him out in some way. Eliminate him in a lethal or non-lethal way. Today we're going to be doing non-lethal because this particular walkthrough is for complete stealth uh, and not alerting anybody or killing anybody. Because I personally prefer this particular kind of game yeah, the little one. Not when you're stealthy although I do more often than not find myself killing everybody the first time I played this through I thought you know what I'm gonna be stealthy it's gonna be good because as a general rule I'm quite good at being stealthy and I ended up killing everyone just because I didn't have the patience so it does require a fair bit of patience and waiting around and trial and error and saving and wandering in and out of rooms and going this isn't the right room I need to find a different way to whatever it is you're trying to do. Like I've said previously in my last video hugely useful to loot as much stuff as you can. I've also found don't talk to granny if you're trying to do a stealth walkthrough because it just complicates stuff and other people come and attack you. Um, so I found it was better just to Ignore Granny, go out, get the rune, and leave, and it's all good. I also found this was the most stealthy way, was to run around the side. Now, these thugs, they can see you, and if you're not careful, they will see you and try and attack you. But as long as you're just sort of reasonably careful, you should be fine. Climb up on this roof, wander around this drain pipe and you can actually climb up onto the roof from here that was a uh, me dying later on reloading uh, that little glitch in the graphics there you can climb in over this roof now there's a rune in that little metal box thing which if you're quick you can get to and you know your timing you can get to before guard turns up in there and then you can get out again you should see him, I should turn around and have a look yeah see, that guard, he goes in there uh, most of the times I tried to play this through I went in after him and killed him you have to be careful with blink because quite often you can just go I'll just move slightly to the left and let go of it and it gets stuck on a wall I found here as well, it's trying to push me over that I'm like no, it's nowhere I want to go so I sort of have to go into the air slightly you can also, a useful thing, is to be hidden and the door there that you're supposed to be trying to get through if you blink to it and then immediately press X as soon as you get there you're fine and nobody will notice you because you're not there long enough for anyone to see you Hello. I hear the second day is when the Now this is Overseer Martin what? and you have a quick chat with him I don't particularly stick around to listen to what he has to say skip the bits I can because you're only supposed to free him <sighs> and you can skip right, any place he goes yeah I'll go off I'll tell Sam or something or other so climb up here I use blink there just because I'm a little bit worried about jumping and grabbing and I found going around the back here is the most efficient way of getting around because um, there aren't really enough guards as long as you use blink and you jump that distance there because I've had a couple of times I tried to walk that distance and I was spotted see there's a uh, there's an overseer the overseers are the ones with the masks and they're all against magic and stuff which means that sometimes they have uh, these musical things that stop your magical powers working which is of course very unfortunate and sucks pretty big time now as the game tells you there are many ways to get in I picked this way even with the normal blink it doesn't jump you up there so if you just try and blink there it won't work but you can blink and then as soon as you get there press A and it does actually 
grab hold provided you do it right so if you're going to attempt something like that I suggest you save before you do and then you can try it and if you really can't manage it then you need to find a different way Did you get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. now the uh, the non-lethal way of killing high overseer Campbell is to stick him in the interrogation chair and then brand him um, when I was first playing this mission through, I sort of was a bit confused as to what I was supposed to do. Again, dark vision, hugely useful because you can immediately look outside the door and you can see where everyone is. And it's just, it makes your life so much easier. Provided you actually pay attention, which I don't hear particularly. I see that one guy with his back there and I'm like, oh, instructions, I'll go over and get them quickly and then back out, but there's another guy who walks in the room and sees me, he gets two things on his head, and then eventually wanders over here. I have a slightly full sense of security, all of a sudden, because this other one who's walking over here, I'm just like, I'm just going to turn around and look into the corner, because it doesn't matter, he's not going to come over here, it's all good. Important. I'll just look for runes. There are runes over there. Like I said before, runes are hugely important. It turns out he's gone and he's walked over there. Which is, of course, excuse me, focus now. His back's to me. I don't particularly try and kill him. I just run away. I thought it the, uh, the safer method. I think it's quite cool that the chain actually exists in the physical world of this game. Quite often chains, you can grab hold of them, but you can just sort of walk through them. You can't with this particular chain, which I think is quite cool. I have a spring razor, though I'm not going to use it. Now, one of the particularly useful things for Dark Vision is being able to see when people walk past and being able to see their direction and where they're looking, which means you can... Now quickly stick your head out, strangle him to death, well just strangle him to unconsciousness because if you were strangling him to death you'd be failing the achievement. I sort of just try and drop him but for some reason my guy throws him because he thought it would be funny. Confidence quite often helps as well. If you spend all your time being completely chicken, it will take you ages. There is a point where you just sort of have to get on with it. Um, I'm aware that I may not be the best example of this because quite a lot of the time I'm hiding and running away and overly cautious, but it is true that I'm doing a complete stealth walkthrough and I don't want to be spotted at all. Now, there are two ru runes inside this building. One of them is in his room and one of them is in a room under the building. I'll show you where that is later and how to get into it. And I faff around trying to get there. That was a, a reload. And the graphics have a bit of a, a fit. Now, I spill the glasses so that Campbell can't, attack, can't kill the guy. Although, if you don't take him to a safe location, after Campbell doesn't kill him because you've just saved his life, it doesn't count as him having survived. It doesn't count as you killing him, but it doesn't count as the optional mission of having saved him. I choose not to save him just because it was too much effort and it was like 2 in the morning that I filmed this and I was like, I can't be bothered. But you just take him to a safe location. So that's the only bit that I haven't done with this. Not that one. No. Now, I bought Ben Time. Um, just so that it would be easier to get them both with uh, with sleep darts in a minute when they come in. They come in, they have a quick chat, talk about some whore dying or something. There you go. He says yes. He hasn't noticed at this point that the glasses aren't there because I smashed them. And then I put him to sleep. It always seems to shoot him in the shoulder whenever I do this as well. I can't seem to shoot him in the face, or the back, or wherever. It always has to be the shoulder. 
Now, it is a good idea to hide Jeff, or whatever his name is. Can't even remember what his name is. Um, it did just say, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh, if you hide him, it just means that nobody finds it and then everyone doesn't freak out. I mean, everyone starts to try and look for you once they realise that High Overseer Campbell is gone. I found that there were quite a large number of guards once I'd sort of stolen him. Um, but they're not alerted to the fact you're there. If you leave his body there, they start to freak out considerably more. And don't try and jump to lampshades. Always make sure when you're doing a blink that you can see where it is. Because if you can't see exactly where it is, it's quite a risky move. And sometimes it'll, it'll, it'll be okay for you, but sometimes it really won't. And it just makes a nasty mess. And somebody sees you and you're stuffed. So... I'm just... I just want to close the door so I can stick him in the chair. But... There's a guy out there, so I wait for him to go. Up there is the branding tool. Close the door. Whack him in the chair. It then took me a little while to realise where the branding tool was, because I was being a bit of an idiot. Um, so I just cut out all of the crap where I wander around. Some useful sleep darts. No, I don't want to read that letter. Take the branding tool. Jump back over the thing. Jump down. I had to sort of incapacitate a couple of guards before I did this. Burn him. He's not particularly happy about this. And he's neutralized. Now there's another guard coming around. I wait to take him out. I do take out quite a lot of these guards and I do make a huge pile of them in here. Um, I'm fairly sure I cut most of that out after I get this one. Drop him in there. You can see that one. Do take that one out. Now downstairs, this is the bit where you're trying to get to the rune. This is what I'm trying to get to because I'm rune obsessed. After having got the rune in his room, run in here, over to that door, go through, might as well close it behind you so no one follows you. You can stand up. I sneak down because I'm not really sure what's going to be down here. Uh, but there isn't anyone down here, so you don't particularly have to worry. Uh, run over to this and press his eye and the door will open. There are seven in this mission. I missed two of them. Uh, I didn't get two of them. Uh, and I didn't get any bone charms. Bone charms I don't find as useful as runes. Um, just because they don't seem to make a huge amount of difference to me. They make a little bit of difference. And if you have a very specific type of gameplay, you could use them. And I can see why that it might make quite a difference. Um, but... I didn't bother. I've gone out to the backyard. And we're nearly at the end of the mission, where Samuel is. Um, but there's one more rune that I'm like, I must have this rune. Which is up there. Uh, and it's simple enough to get to without alerting anyone. Um, just climb over the buildings this way. 
the general rule you're safe. Try not to stuff this up. I stuffed this up when I did it. I was just trying to get to, uh, pretty sure I blinked down there. I could have just, you can, you can just jump off. Um, I do use dark vision quite a lot just to make sure there's no one near enough to me that it's sort of... I panicked because somebody noticed me and I did actually make it up there and then I fell off. Um, so I then jump back up again and hide on the ceiling. It's the guard over there by the stairs and noticed me. Now you can smash this. It alerts some people and they're all like, what's that? But they don't really investigate because you're on a roof and none of them can see. So you don't particularly have to worry. I'm just waiting around and then checking inside to make sure there are no guards inside the building. Which is always a good idea if you're about to break into a building to make sure no one's in there. Um, not really sure what you can use the vice for, but apparently you can use it. Uh, and the rune is over here underneath that magnifying glass. And that's simple enough just to blink back out again. I do upgrade blink at this point um, and you can see it makes quite a considerable difference the distance you can jump um, which is it's just it's hugely useful like being able to just stand here and jump all the way to that wall you couldn't have blinked that before and it would have caused problems and then very simply to finish the mission you chain down you can see Samuel there. All the way down. Don't jump off. It will kill you. And you'd be an idiot too. If you haven't just saved. Let go. And go speak to Samuel. Samuel. So this has been Dishonored. Stealth walkthrough. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe. Um, it's hugely useful if you do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching again. Um, and I will see you with the next mission very soon. Okay, let's go.